Oh, what a fresh passion. Oh, man, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. It's 5.30 a.m. Charlie Sheen climbs the stairs of his Hollywood Hills mansion to begin what he calls his daily descent into death. How are you guys? Okay. Yes, I drink water through my eyes. Today, at least, there are no signs of an all-night bender. For a man many believe is strung out, the workout is vigorous and unrelenting. I'm coming for you, Warner Brothers. Let me just catch my breath first. I'm a peaceful man with bad intentions. Only his hidden vault of cigars hints at a less than healthy lifestyle. Who's gonna look in the gym for the magic cigar? Cool, they're there if you need one. What gets you up in the morning? What makes you want to embrace the day and stay clean and enjoy your <sighs> Hello. life? Hello. Um, that my my family, my my beautiful, perfect, lovely family. That just uh, it's just pure magic, and I, I keep looking around, and going, "Wow! Not only do I deserve this, but it's like it's on." What is on is Charlie Sheen's version of the modern family. Three times divorced with five children, Sheen now lives with Natalie Kenley, 24, seen here as a marijuana magazine cover girl, and Rachel Oberlin, 24, also known as Brie Olson, a porn star and one of many Sheen has a shine for. So let's party. We win so radically in our underwear before our first cup of coffee, it's scary. People say it's lonely at the top, but I sure like the view. So bad. Sheen calls them his goddesses, and their exploits have been fodder for print, TV, and online tabloids around the world. They're an international sensation. Um, these are my girlfriends. These are the women that I love that, um, that, have, that have completed the, uh, the three parts of my heart. Natty and Charlie have their own special connection. I have my own connection with Charlie, and then Natty and I also have our own relationship. It seems crazy to everybody else, but for us, I mean, it works well. It's not about you. <laughs> Look at these two. Wow. Who's got it better than me? I'm just going to hang out right here. <laughs> it's no secret that you have an affinity for porn stars. Well, I mean, wow, listen to that statement. Why? Well, look at what they do. Look at what I do. Duh. You know, you say duh, but I don't get it. What is it? It's exciting, it's fun, and you already know what you're getting before you meet them. Because you've watched them. No, because I'm guessing right. Well, of course. What's not to watch? They're the best at what they do, and I'm the best at what I do, and together it's like, it's on. <sighs> Sorry, Middle America. Yeah, I said it. It's also well documented that Sheen often prefers to pay for the company of women. Is it the same for prostitutes? Is it that it's good sex? Yeah, who was the deal with all the... All the small talk and nonsense and so you're paying for something that eliminates that and I don't know makes sense to me as long as you're not lying to anybody as long as you're not lying to people I think whatever you do and there's no children involved then then you're okay but people are gonna judge it because they're so jealous and they're doing it behind closed doors and it's like really dude really do you all sleep in the same bed together can I take that one definitely not only because three is too many for a bed everybody and each one of us needs an inside and there's only two ends on a bed you know but it's never an issue we all just land wherever we land we, we try not to make rules or plans or anything like that do you want to marry Charlie it's too soon to tell I would love to marry Charlie I'm over three with the marriage thing so being a ball player um, I believe in numbers I'm not going over for it. I'm not the marriage guy, but maybe the three of us will get married. I don't know. Oh, now it's a polygamy story. It's polygamy story. I mean, come on. Traditional relationships don't what? seem to work for Sheen. In 1995, he married model Donna Peel. A year later, divorce. In 2003, he married actress Denise Richards. They had two daughters. Three years later, divorce. And in 2008, Sheen married real estate investor Brooke Mueller. She gave him twin boys. Last November, he gave her a divorce. Today, Sheen fancies himself as a modern Hugh Hefner. Inside his home, he calls Silver Valley Lodge. What goes on in Silver Valley Lodge? All things beautiful. I don't like to say sober, that's sort of an A thing, but it's clean, you know, there's cleansing, there's, there's healing here, there's laughter, there's children, there's, there's beautiful women and perfect food, and it's just, we just win. It's not like a wild scene with jealous girls and ex-wives and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's all very, we all love Charlie, you know? We're just hanging out with each other, you know? There's not any partying going on. There, you know, we're just hanging out. We're normal people. Normal people with a few legal blemishes. In 2006, Kenley was arrested for underage drinking. Oberlin was recently arrested in Indiana for drunk driving. The case is pending. 
Is the partying over in this house? Absolutely. We've got the kids here. You know, they, they take precedence over anything else. Camera. A camera. The kids are Sheen's two-year-old twin sons, Max and Bob. Their divorce pending, Sheen and Brooke Mueller share joint custody with a little help from Charlie's goddesses. Do you act as a mother figure to the twins? I try. I love those boys. I would take a bullet for them. Do you think the two of you are good influences on those twin boys? Oh, absolutely. I mean, all you can do with children is love them. You have these beautiful, beautiful children. Yeah. Do you ever worry about them and the things that you've been through and how it'll affect them? I mean, I could worry about it or I could say, hey, kids, your dad's a rock star. Look at his experiences. Look at what he survived. Bang, there, there, there are some of your lessons, but the real lessons are going to be in the future. And what makes you a good dad? Everything. Next question. I mean, is there anything in particular that... <laughs> it's nobody's business, man. That's yeah. between me and my kids, you know? I just think it, it just shows, like, a very important side of you, that you're a father, you know, these beautiful children. No, of course I am, but it's like, geez, can I have one little part of my life that's not, like, yeah. tmz of the butt, you know? Mm -hmm. I deserve that, right? Let's get into that, some of that other stuff. If I, questioning I, I, Sheen's fatherhood makes yeah. him uncomfortable, Months it ago, might be because again, tabloids like TMZ have chronicled his drunken place. and violent benders, like the one last October at New York's Plaza Hotel, his young daughters sleeping in a nearby room. Do you think it ever gets a little too close, for example, in the New York City hotel room with the girls across the hall and your night of partying? I don't know. You don't really think about that in the middle of it, and then mm -hmm. people remind you of it, and you're like, oh, shame, oops, move on. What are you gonna do? Like, go change it? Go move their room? Can I go back in time and move their room? No. You actually feel bad about that happening, though, that night. Well, with the girls. I mean, yeah. And again, I'm the guy that apologizes for the things I've done that I believe to be wrong, and then I move forward. How has Denise been through those episodes, and how awesome. has she reacted? Awesome. Top Gun rock star. Awesome. Did the two of you sit down with your daughters and talk about this at all? No. No, that's kind of lame. Here's what's going on. They're getting older. Do they understand yeah. what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't see them enough to uh, have that influence, but that was yesterday. Today could be different. I don't know. They'll wake up one day and realize how cool Dad is, and, you know, he signs all the checks on the front, not the back, and, uh, <laughs> and that, you know, we need him, and we need his wisdom and, and his bitchiness. One might question that wisdom and example Sheen sets for his children. Last January, Sheen again was rushed to the hospital after a wild night of partying at his mansion. What really went on in this house that night? A lot of mayhem. Are you helping him stay clean? We don't need help staying clean. It's not even a part of our lives anymore. There's a ton of laughter in this house. There's a ton of love in this house. There's a ton of nobility in this house. Are there any drugs in this house? If there Put that are, down for a second. If there are, you better find them and give them to me immediately. No, they're not. No drugs in the house right not now? Not that I know about. If I know about them, I'll find them and throw them away. It's not a big deal. Ooh, drugs in the house. Ah, we're all going to die. Did you have to do a sweep when you were focused yeah, but to yeah, get rid of everything? Yeah, you but know, there's always, there's a trillion places for a million things to hide. Yeah. You make beautiful children. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And with his large extended family of ex-wives, children, and goddesses, Sheen, if he's serious, has plenty of help to clean house.